Millwall do have a good recent record against West Ham in league encounters. They're unbeaten against the Hammers in the last seven league fixtures between these two. It's a tough task today, though. West Ham has scored in their last seven matches, and they've won eight of their 13 home matches in the Championship this season. Well, let's have a look then at the two teams for you, starting with West Ham. Two changes to the Hammers side that started Tuesday's heavy defeat at Ipswich. Abdullah Fay returns, having been an unused substitute for the last three games. Joey O'Brien is back after two matches out injured. Taylor and Lansbury are the players who make way. West Ham's new signings, Nicky Maynard and Ricardo Vazte, are both on the bench. As for Millwall, Andy Keogh makes his first start for them following his move from Wolves on transfer deadline day. Dunn and Lowry also come in. Mason and Kane both on loan from Tottenham dropping to the bench. Keogh's addition necessary because aside from Darius Henderson, the Lions have found goals hard to come by of late. Applause from the West Ham faithful to honour the memory of Ernie Gregory, former goalkeeper at West Ham, former coach here, who sadly passed away recently. Kenny Jackett, the Millwall manager, took charge back in November of 2007. This is 198th league match. A little touch on for Henderson. Here's Keogh, the new signing from Wolves. Henderson, Keogh just ahead of him. And Green almost prevented it going behind for a corner, but can't quite. Well, I'm not sure whether it was a shot or a cross. It came off McCartney and Green. Couldn't prevent it crossing the goal line. And just wide, the header from Alan Dunn. Look at the run here that he makes towards the near post, Dunn. The man who's in his 11th season now with Millwall O'Brien wins a corner for West Ham defending from Scott Barron Cole not a bad effort from the West Ham striker just wouldn't drop in time Henderson Trotter. Smith sliding in. Now he was caught there. It's a straight red. Kevin Nolan is dismissed. And West Ham are down to ten men after just eight minutes at Upton Park. Here's the challenge again. And Kevin Nolan jumping in. The challenge on Jack Smith. And Mike Jones reaches straight for the pocket. You can see the referee's view there. And West Ham will have to play over 80 minutes of this match without Kevin Nolan. Cole. Fullback. Too long for Collison. Able to keep the ball alive though. Cole with the challenge. Faubert, Cole. Gathered by Ford. Cole creating a little bit of space for himself. And then the header. Didn't really have too much power. Away by O'Brien. Abdu. Feeney. A little bit of room for the shot. And Robert Green down smartly. Robert Green saw it all the way. Collison. And away come Millwall. Trotter. Options left and right. Finds Keogh. Who looks here for Henderson. Robert Green takes it well. Suddenly Millwall were away. Three against two. Some good ball in towards Henderson. Green reads the situation well. O'Brien. Might go for goal here. And it's only just over. To 
Just over 10 minutes plus stoppage time to go until the break. And it's still nil nil at Upton Park between the 10 men of West Ham and Millwall. McCartney. Fullback! The ball whipped in by McCartney. And Fulbert just beating Smith to it. And there you can see the Millwall fans just in the top tier of the Sir Trevor Brooking stand. Bit of holding there from Ward on Colt. Noble will take the free kick. Driven in hard. Reed. Cole! West Ham lead in stoppage time at the end of the first half. And Carlton Cole gets it. The free kick whipped in hard. Reed's head up. And Cole was first to get on the end of it. Ford stranded a couple of yards off his line. And he couldn't quite reach it. Carlton Cole gets his ninth goal of the season. Late challenge here. Now, what will the referee do? Taylor on the run through. Lowry. Getting to the ball first. And then the man. Greeny's clearance doesn't go out of play. Tompkins. Oh, rather congested on this near side. In by McCartney. Fulbert! Off the bar. Julian Fulbert with the glancing touch on the cross in here. He's the only one in the middle for West Ham, but he rises high. Phoenix. Out there. Millwall unable to find a way through at the moment. That's a good ball from Trotter. Smith, though, dispossessed by O'Brien. This time with a bank of four in defence and four in midfield. And Millwall are finding it hard to find a way through. Trotter looks for a way through and has found one. It's the equaliser for Millwall. And Liam Trotter has got it. Trotter scores for the first time since the end of November when he got a double against Doncaster in a home victory. Now he has scored at Upton Park and it's game on in this London derby at one apiece. Cole. Taylor. Referee says play on. Carlton Cole's in a heap on the floor. Here's McCartney. Put behind by Lowry. It's a corner. And Cole is still down. And it's a caution. Referee, as you can see, plays advantage. West Ham's away. Darren Ward is cautioned. Third Millwall player to be shown yellow. All of them in this second half. West Ham looking for an immediate response. They haven't conceded and they almost get one. Hacked clear by Kane. Tompkins with the effort, Fauvert going in, Ford gets it away, Reed! Winston Reed fires West Ham back in front! Doesn't Reed thump this one into the back of the net with some pace and power? Falls nicely for him. There's the challenge on Ford. Remember, Mill will have been playing against the ten men of West Ham since the ninth minute. Kevin Nolan straight red for the West Ham captain. Trotter. Down. Looks to drive it in and it wasn't too far wide either from Alan Dunn. West Ham relieved to see that one going wide. For me, it's one of the best performances I've seen in my managerial career, not, not in... in my West Ham time.